today I would like to show you how to create a live website using HTML5 and CSS3 so I would like to show you how to create a static part for the website and in the upcoming videos I'll show you how to create dynamic part as well so let's get started with the static part first so this is our first page actually I am working on a live project uh, that is for a company which is based in Oman in Gulf so this is the domain for that company tetronic.com.om so the domain has not been um, registered so the live website will be uploaded here after the development process complete so let's get started with the first page that is our home page so this is the first page I have created called home page so I'll show you from top to bottom and I have included the links and the script folders here you can see here and the title of the project is Tetronics the company name and after that after the head tag this is our head tag under this head tag I have included all the link and script tags and some CSS in the style tag and I have closed this hashtag here under the body I have added a nav bar this is the nav bar comment you can see here so I have created a default nav bar and it is obviously a static top one the client requirement was the static top nav bar so I have created that nav bar at the top of the web page and the role of this na role of this nav bar is navigation under this I have taken a diff tag like uh, the class as container under that I have taken a row under that I have taken a column for extra small devices small devices medium devices and for the large devices and this is the toggle button for the responsive layout this button is pretty important you have to give this button for the toggle when the browser when you minimize the browser you can see here our website is present on the live domain this is subdomain not the original one so this is the toggle button we can see it is working fine let's get back to the page and this is the navbar here it is the ending tag for the navbar after that I have given some uh, head uh, what you can say this is the history tag head tag for displaying the uh, process of that company the work of that company so I have included that line developing products and methods to satisfy our clients with engineering polymers under that I have given this one world of possibilities and I have given a carousel here you can see here the carousel is working fine all the images so this is the client this was the client requirement before starting the project the client requirement this we have we got that client requirement like this PSD file so we have developed this uh, uh, website according to that requirements so let's move on and see this you can see here this is the h2 tag mission means it is showing that what is the actual mission of the company to provide good quality products and services establishment uh, and relationship of honesty and trust with our customers and employees so this is all about the mission this is the vision and this for this part is for the values so this was the carousel let's move on and 
explore more about this website as it is the live website running on a subdomain within few days we are going to make this website live so uh, we need to do some we have to do some little bit modifications to this website so this is the second row encourage row which you can see here this one was the first row and this one is the second row social activities we have put some images in this row you can see here this is the responsive footer all the images and all you can see here so this is the first page let's move to the next page called projects and let's open projects in our text editor this one so this is our second page the carousel is same as uh, as the first page as on the first page so this one it is still loading tetronic project some content and one image is here and these are some key points of the website means what kind of development they are doing or what kind of work they are providing so this is all about the company which type of projects they are doing so this one is for the projects part <coughs> so you can see here these are some list items which I have created under UL tag unordered list UL means unordered list you can see here li means list items and ol means ordered list so i have created this list items under ul tag so this is the second page let's move to the next page called our services page and you can see here our services some images some stuff some cool stuff about the companies here you can see here all types of works provided by the company has been given in this page so this is our third page let's move and explore our fourth page called social activities at the end of this video I'll show you how to upload these uh, files on a hosting I have already signed in sign in my go GoDaddy account you can see here so under this after signing in this GoDaddy hosting account you will find a file manager under this file manager I have already opened this tab under this file manager under public HTML folder I have created a subdomain called demo under this demo I have created all folders for bootstrap CSS files HTML files PHP files and all and you might be wondering how to create a subdomain in a domain in a hosting so let me show you how to create a subdomain you can see here domains this part domains under this you can see subdomains so click on that it will redirect you to the subdomain creation page and under that page you can create subdomains easily so using this subdomain I have uploaded all my files 
is still loading it might take some time yeah it is opening fine yeah you can see here you can give subdomain name here after that a dot is there <coughs> and the tronic.com.om which is the domain name the actual domain name so you could have you could type anything it's your wish uh, after giving the subdomain name just click on create it will create your subdomain so using this process I have created a subdomain on hosting page and under this subdomain I have uploaded all the files using this upload button you can see here upload or uh, you could move some file if you want to move some files to any other location you could you can use this move file option and you can also create new folder for uploading new content on this hosting and you can also download the source code and you can also delete the folders so let's see this is our subdomain demo.tetronic.com slash html files under this html files we are having different types of html files you can see here homepage.html and the second one is project.html third one is our services fourth is the social activities.html and the fifth one is contact us and the last but not the least is careers.html so these are our, these are our six pages which are which has been created which have been created and uploaded successfully on a subdomain so we are exploring our fourth page called social activities so you can see the images and the content all on this page this is the dummy content so we have to replace this content according to the client requirement but now I have put the dummy content you can see here and uh, let's open our contact us page I have given a cool new thing in this web page uh, let me show you what I have given a google map you can navigate or you can find the company location using this google map so it's a real time map let me show you how, how I have given that Google map on a web page. Uh, where is our contact us page? Here it is. Let's scroll down. Scroll down. And you can see here I have given that Google map under iframe tag and this is the source for the Google if you want to give a Google map for your company on a website on or on a web page open Google Maps and search your location search your location after that and let's type California You will find one embed option here using that option you can embed the source of a particular location in this source attribute for the iframe tag so I have given some styling as well to this iframe tag and I have taken this entire iframe tag in a div in a column or extra small devices you can see here and six columns for extra small devices we are taking six columns to display that map on our web page and under that below that map I have created contact information and a contact form this is the responsive form and this for this input is for email ID and the last one is for your phone number and this is the send message button so these are the contact details 
let me show you the last page careers.html as you can see here the company has registered this domain successfully but it is still under development soon we are going to upload the live website on this URL it might take some time it is still loading hope you understand the files and the creation of subdomain process which I have shown you in this video middle of this video and the static part how I have created these web pages and just I am giving an overview I am not going in depth so in the upcoming videos I'll show you how to create emails using web pages on our web uh, using C sharp in ASP.NET Core MVC yeah you can see here our page has loaded successfully this is the careers.html page I have when put any stuff on this page I have given simply coming soon and this is the dummy content this is the contact info and this is the footer part so this is all about the live website responsive website using HTML5 and CSS3 and I have also shown you how to upload um, live website on the hosting using subdomain you can minimize this browser and see the navbar is working fine and the carousel our slider is also working fine it is also responsive and our found and the images is also responsive images are also responsive and our footer part this is our next page all the stuff all the content is responsive so this is all about a live website using HTML5 and CSS3. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.